Okay, so as you guys can see, my bluegill, um, they died from the pond water in. I'm going to check on it right now, and this is what I saw. What's going on with these fish? I don't know. It's very disappointing, and I gotta figure this out. I don't know if it's because the chemical I put in from Petco, but yeah, I don't know. So I feel like if I take them and I take them and I just leave them like right here on the rock pile, something will get them a bird or a cat, a raccoon or whatever. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna bury them because that's just gonna, they're already, uh, most of them out in the sun, see if something will get them, but not. But I also see cats and raccoons again, walking around here where there's a really big hawk that lives around here and He's just going to pick them up and get a free meal out of it. So they're really not going to waste because it's actually feeding the animal. Yeah, right now I'm just going to, I'm draining this water. Just, I guess it's bad water. I have no idea. I don't know if a bacteria got into it or what, but I'm just going to drain it and halfway and see what happens i don't know it's just frustrating how i don't know all this happens i know it's not that big of a deal but three fish died and i didn't really pay anything for them i caught them out of the pond but still frustrating i put all these hours into this work then my fish died because i was going to grow those to be really really big fish so right now i have a water problem so i'm going to figure that out and i don't know if you guys know anything comment below like what i should do because this is uh, a beginning start for me on this pond stuff. So if you know anything, comment below and let me know. Yeah, so I just got home from fishing and went out a video. Came down and bluegill were in the water, already fished those out. Then the bass went. I have no idea what's going on. Very annoying. Um, I worked pretty hard to catch those fish and put them in there. And I don't know, it might be that chemical I got from Petco. I have no idea. So yeah, so now we're down to no fish. Both the bluegill are gone and the bass are gone. So yeah, I need your guys' help. So comment down below, let me know what do you think would happen. I have no idea. So that's about it for today's episode of Hook and Bass 92. Not an exciting episode at all. So if you guys can do me a big, big favor, hit that like button again. Please comment below and let me know what you guys thought would happen. I don't know, it might have been a temperature drop. It might have been a lack of oxygen. It might have been the chemical I put in there. So. Hope you guys are having a better day. And as always, catch big fish. Have a great day. This is what my pond looks like. I mean, it was light green yesterday, put the chemical in, light green stuff went away. Um, it's kind of murky. Looks like all the green stuff gone, but it's still murky. Um, I'm gonna give it about two more days, then I'm going to uh, put some more like, clarifier stuff in it for the water to make the water like clear. And I'm also going to drain it because that bass is still in here somewhere. Um, and he looks pretty healthy. I saw him last night and he I threw some tilapia on there and he ate it so it looks like he's pretty good.